Hey, it's me, GV. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we got Magus in the party, and in this episode, we're actually going to go on a journey to increase our party's status in terms of accessories and equipment. Now, if you remember all the way back when, all those times that we've passed those mysterious boxes and doors with those crests on them, now we're going to go get all of that stuff. And my memory is a bit hazy. It always is when it comes to this stuff. But we're going to go pretty much from the future um, and backwards. And you'll notice that the stuff that we're going to be getting is pretty significant and I'll explain later on but the first thing that we want to do is we want to head into the epoch and fly to the year 2300 AD which is of course the future and the first place that we want to locate is the banger dome now I wish I could say that I that I can remember all of these uh, locations off the top of my head but I can't so I'm gonna be using a guide for this section of this let's play but uh, the first place that we want to find is the banger dome and I forget exactly where it is but uh, Hopefully if we can land, no. Oh, okay, we're just not in a good spot, I see. I was like, why can't I land? Okay, so we're looking for the Banger Dome. That's the Proto Dome. And I'm probably going to skip through a lot of stuff in this episode just because I don't want to watch you guys, or I don't want you guys to watch me trying to find all these different places constantly. But uh, let's just start off with the Banger Dome and go from there. You'll also notice that the Black Omen is in this time period as well. And we'll see later on that it's in actually many different time periods. In fact, all of them, I believe. Alright, so Banger Dome. Is it you? No, that's the Eris Dome. Okay, so it must be over to the left here. Under, what is this place called? Lab 16, yes. Okay, so the Banger Dome is one of these two. Is it this one? It is. Alright, so in the Banger Dome, we have one of these doors with the crests on them. Let's go ahead and open this one up. The pendant begins to glow, of course. Even though Marl's not in our party, we still have her pendant. We have three chests here. We have one charm top. We have one full ether. And we have one wallet. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that stuff does. So, I believe the wallet is a... Uh, accessory turns experience into G, which is pretty cool. We're not going to use that, but yeah, there you go. Um, and a charm top should be a female equipment, I think? No? Okay. Charm top. Is it an accessory? Oh, it is an accessory. Charm power up. Okay. And I believe Ayla actually has charm. Um, Let's see, it might not be a tech that we know just yet, but if we go down to Ayla, yeah, oh, she's actually learning it, steal from an enemy, that's right. So charm is a tech that we don't know yet, but it allows you to steal items from enemies, and certain enemies have items that you do want to steal. Um, so that's kind of cool, but we're not really going to bother with that. Okay, so I think the next place that we want to go to is the Tran Dome, which might be this one right here. How lazy am I just flying like a tiny little bit? Tran Dome, yes. Okay, so there should also be something of note in here. We're not going to talk to these people, but we can see that there's another door with that strange crest on it. The pendant begins to glow once more, and let's head inside. We have two more chests here and a sparkle sparkle. One gold stud, one full ether, and a magic tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our inventory, use that magic tab right away. Magic, 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 magic. Where are you? Where are you, magic tab? Speed tab. Uh, we're gonna save those for somebody else. Magic tab, there you are. Okay. So let's use that on Magus, and let's also equip that golden stud, because I believe it is a very good item to equip. So let's see, gold stud, MP use cut by 75%, yeah, so this is an amazing item to have, and we're going to equip it on Magus because he's going to be our primary magic user. Okay, the next place that we want to go to is the Eris Dome, which is in the center of this time period, and I believe this place is pretty lengthy, so I'll go ahead and cut to where we get to the special place. Alright, so pretty much after a straight shot, you'll come across another one of these doors, which of course is going to have some treasure behind it. Let's see what we got this time, shall we? Four chests and a sparkle sparkle, one lumen robe, which we've already bought one for Marl, one elixir, one hit ring, and one gold earring. And what's this sparkle sparkle? No, there you are. One power tab. Yeah, we'll save that one as well. Okay, so let's see what... I believe we got two new accessories, right? We got the gold ring and the hit ring. The hit ring is strike plus 10, which I believe... 
Someone told me a while back when I asked what strike was, it's just like your basic attack for, I think, range. So we don't need that just yet. The current three party members we have are all melee. Um, no, actually, it looks like it might just increase that for everybody. I don't really know, to be honest. Explanation here. Okay, and the gold earring, max HP up by 50%. That's actually really nice. So let's see who has the lowest. Um, since the gold stud is such a good thing for Magus, we'll equip the gold earring on Frog and increase his HP by quite a bit. So you can see why you really want to go through and get all these chests, because this stuff is pretty damn powerful. Okay, just want to show you that if you come back to Doan after a while, he'll say, Hey, fellas, look, the seed sprouted, so that's great. There is some hope for these people in the future after all. Uh, our next stop is actually the Hecran Cave back in 1000 AD, so I will see you guys there. Okay, so some of you might remember this chest that we passed in the Hecran Cave. Let's go ahead and open it. This is actually the first chest that we've opened with this pendant. Got one wall ring. Huh? There's something else in here. W what in the world? Got one dash ring, and I think that's it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. Those sound like a couple more accessories. Uh, wall ring, magic defense plus 10, cool, but I don't really like defense. Dash ring, spe speed plus 3, which is probably the strongest speed accessory you can get, because I know we have a speed plus 1 in the form of the bandana, and speed plus 2 in something else. Um, so actually, what we need to do now is head back outside, go into the epoch, and move to a different time period. Okay, so we're back in 2300 AD. What we want to do is head into the Banger Dome, and we already opened this one, right? Did the door just reclose? Yeah, okay, I got, I got excited there for a second. All right, and we want to actually activate this gate, which will lead us back to the end of time. Don't worry, we'll be able to find our epoch again. No worries at all, but we do want to head back to the end of time. And now you can see all of the portals are lit up. So let's see. I think this one was new, but that's where we just came from, of course. And I think this one up here, right? Which leads to Guardia Forest 1000 AD. And that is where we want to go. Because there's another mysterious chest waiting for us there as well. Okay, and it's right here. Isn't that convenient? So let's go ahead and grab that and see what's inside of this one. One power ring, is that it? Looks like that's it. So a power ring is obviously going to be an accessory that increases our power. Uh, power plus six, yes. So I don't think anyone, well, Ayla could use that. Uh, but I'm not gonna have Ayla in our party for too long. You know what? Okay, yeah, why not upgrade her just now anyways? Okay, so we'll equip the power ring on Ayla and any of this stuff. Wow, really? Load vest is better than Lumen Robe that we found? Interesting. Okay, and you'll notice you can never upgrade, uh, Ayla's fist. Alright, moving on. Okay, we're back at the Banger Dome. The reason for that is because we want to get back into our Epoch. And we want to go back to 1000 AD. Not Apocalypse. Definitely not Apocalypse. Not just yet. The reason we're going to 1000 AD is because if you guys remember, there was a giant blue diamond that we couldn't act or uh, yeah, we couldn't activate before. But now we should be able to. So should have been in the Cursed Woods. Oh no 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 no. no. That's right. We want to go near Medina, which should be up here. As you can see, there's the Black Omen in this time period as well. And, uh, yeah, we want to go here, which is called, I forget, temporarily, the Force Ruins, right? Okay, so, let's head to that giant blue glowing diamond. A torch comes from the pendant. The seal has been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Choose whichever you feel you need and take it with you. Okay. 13,000 years was a long time. Balthazar, I shall see you shortly. Balthazar. 
Okay, so we have a choice here. We can only choose one. To the right is a sword for Chrono. To the left is the safe helm, which is, I forget exactly what it does. I'll put an explanation right here, but I know it's, uh, you know, obviously it's the defensive option. Uh, I think the safe helm is actually better in the long run, but I'm gonna go for the swallow because YOLO. Got one swallow, sweet. Um, even though it is for Chrono, we'll take a look at it. Uh, or can we? Yeah, we should be able to. We'll see if it has any cool um, effects. So let's see. Swallow, 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 swallow. There you are. Speed plus three. Yeah, and it also has probably really good damage. Moving on. Okay, so we're back in the Middle Ages. You'll notice that the forest, whatever, wherever we just were, it's closed off. And there's also another thing here, which I believe is Ozzy's Fort, right? It's not Magus's... Yeah, Ozzy's Fort. Uh, we'll deal with that later on. But what we want to do is we want to actually head to... There's the Black Omen. We want to head to the Guardia Forest, and there will be another chest. Now, here's the thing. Um, let's see. I think we can land right here, right? We don't have to actually go from the start. Here's the thing. You'll notice if we go to the right and go right here, you'll see there's a chest here. Now, I've never fully understood how this worked, and I might be wrong here, but apparently if you loot this stuff first in the past, you can't get the, the more powerful stuff in the future. So you wanna loot the stuff from future to the past. That way you'll get two sets of items rather than one, and you'll get the more powerful versions. Uh, I'm gonna reread all that information and see if I'm wrong, and if I am wrong, I'll put up a better explanation here. But yes, we have another black chest here, which is going to have one speed tab. As you can see, that reward isn't nearly as good as the other ones that we've been getting. Okay, so let's head back to the epoch. We still have more to do in this time period. Okay, and what we want to do now is head down to Fiona's Villa, which is this thing right here. You'll also notice there has been a, like, a sinkhole or a uh, sand pit or something that has appeared here. We're not going to deal with that just yet. What we want to do is we want to actually head to the Magic Cave, and we also want to save the game because it's been a while. So let's do that. There we go, and let's head into the Magic Cave. And now I think we... I forget exactly where this one is, but I think we, we just want to... Uh, move. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's right there. Cool. Can I activate it? What's going on? You got one magic ring. All right, I don't think... Oh, you know what? It's going to be the same thing as the power ring, just with magic. I'm going to assume. Let's see, magic plus six. Yes, I was right. Uh, I still think the gold stud would be better. Okay, remember what I just said, like that explanation about not picking things and all that sort of stuff before, you know, in the past? Uh, that was kind of wrong, yeah. So there's some that do give you a choice, and we're going to see that now. So we want to head to the Truce Inn, where there's going to be another one of those mysterious boxes. Uh, I think it's upstairs, so we'll go ahead and sneak in without paying that nice woman down there. Okay, so here we have a box, right? If you activate it, it says, this box has been in the family for gen- Right, okay, now I remember. So when it, when it says this dialogue, this is what I was talking about. This box has been in the family for generations. Open it and you may have what's inside. Something is reacting to the pendant. Take the item inside? We want to say no. Okay, and then we want to leave. Now, if you say yes, you get a weaker version. You don't want to do that. What we want to do now is we want to head into... See, I was getting confused. Ah, I keep doing that by accident. Um, I was getting confused with how this works. Basically... You need to find the boxes that are in the same exact spot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wor warp to the present here and land. And before we go into the true sin, though, we're going to go visit Chrono, Chrono's mom. Oh, hello. Is Chrono okay? Yeah, he's totally okay. <laughs> he's not dead. Yeah, I thought there was more dialogue to that. Maybe I... Oh, you know what? Probably if Marl's in the party. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back into the truce inn. Things have changed a little bit, but that box should still be there. This box has been in the family for generations. Open it, and you may have what's inside. Same dialogue. Blue vest powers up. Found blue mail. See? So usually, you would get the blue vest, but because we waited patiently, we now have the blue mail, which is a better version. Uh, let's see what that does. Absorbs water hits. That's right. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. So you can get all of these blue stuff. I think the blue... Uh, whatever the other one was just gives you resistance, whereas this one actually absorbs the damage. Okay, so now we want to do pretty much the same thing, except we're going to go down to, I believe it is here. It's poor, and we want to find the Elder's House, which I think is right here, right? Yes, okay. So in the Elder's House, there should be two boxes here. We'll activate the first one. Something inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the object? No. And the second one. 
something inside is reacting to the pendant, remove the object? No. Okay. And now you guys probably see where this is going. We're going to head back into the epoch. And go back to 1080. So I guess this little mechanic here between these boxes is only present between 600 AD and 1000 AD. Uh, the only reason I'm not completely sure on this, even though this is my favorite game, is because I think I've only done this correctly maybe two times out of all the playthroughs I've done. So, still a little bit rusty. Okay, so now... Have we ever even been to the mayor's house? I don't think so. I don't think we ever talked to him and, and saw the funny dialogue. Ha, I run this town and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. Give you 10G if you act like a chicken. Yes. And it's, it's the ultimate irony that... That, uh, Magus is the one doing that. Here you go, 10G. Yeah, I don't think we ever did that, but that's what he does. He's a jerk. Um, anyways, we're gonna head upstairs. Yeah, we were never here. Interesting. And yeah, we never looted that little chest there. How's it going, little girl? Everyone says Daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? Nope. He's definitely greedy. Okay. And here we have the black vest has powered up, and we have the black male. And here... The white vest and the white, uh, male. I think you can assume what those are going to do. White is probably lightning absorption, whereas black is probably uh, shadow absorption. But we will check after we head back to 600 AD and loot the regular versions. Why loot the regular versions? I don't really know. You know, you're never really going to equip them. But I guess you could equip them on the party members that you don't use if you want to use them sometimes, but not all the time. I don't really know. You could also sell it. Or maybe you're just like me and you want every cool thing. Uh, yes, let's remove the object, which is going to be one black vest. Wait, we did that for... I don't think we did... Did we do that for uh, Truce Inn in 1000 AD? I'm not sure. Either way, let's check. Okay. So, let's see. We have the white male absorbs lightning. I was right. We have the black male absorbs shadow. I was right. Blue absorbs water. Flash. Okay, white, black, and... Yeah, we didn't get the blue, so I'll go ahead and grab that off camera. Absorbs 50%. Absorbs 50%. Yeah, so I was pretty much spot on there. Alrighty, here's that regular old blue male. Or blue vest, right? Keep forgetting the terminology here. Blue vest, yeah. So that's all pretty good. Um... I don't really know. I, you know what? I think it has less defense. Let's see. Yeah, it has less defense, but obviously the ability to absorb that stuff is pretty good. Um, what would be the best? I guess... Ruby doesn't absorb fire, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the Ruby... Va okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the Epoch once more. We're going to travel back to 1000 AD, and we are going to visit Luca's house because Tobin probably has some upgrades. It's been quite a while. Okay. So here we go. Let's go into Luca's house and talk to Tobin. Oh, you're just in time. You got one Tobin suit. It's my finest work, the ultimate in defense for my daughter. One Tobin helm. It's my finest work. That, yeah, you keep saying that. Is everything your finest work? You're Luca's friend, right? If you see Luca, tell her to drop by. I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items she'd like. Okay, so let's see what those two things do really quickly. Um, you know, we're going to have to go into items. Because no one can equip that but Luca. Let's see. Tab and tab and tab and tab and... Speed plus two, fire guard up. Is that what we just got? I think so. And we also got the tab and helm, right? Which I think we probably have passed. Yeah, because we're in... Uh, Oh no, there it is. Okay, Tobin Suit, Speed plus 3, Fire Guard up, so that one's actually an upgrade, and Magic Defense plus 10. Cool beans. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to grind for Silver Points in Lean Square, and I will explain why after I have all of them. Okay, I actually had, whoops, I actually had 27 Silver Points from the previous time we've been here, uh, and after defeating Gato, I now have, let's see, 27, 37... 42 points. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Norman Beckstein's whatever this, whatever this place is called. What is it called, buddy? Norstein Beckler. I think I said the exact same thing when we started this Let's Play. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine tingling show is about to start. 
So, you want a Chrono clone. Normally I'd never do this, but today I'll make an exception. Challenge me and I'll give you a clone. The longer you stay alive in the game, the longer my price, the lower my price will be. Okay, I thought you get the, okay, I didn't even want to, like, spoil this part, but yeah, we're trying to get a Chrono clone, which will come into play later on, um, but I thought you had, I thought it was automatically a prize for one of the mini games that we can play, but okay. Take the challenge, it's not my lucky day. Take the challenge. Mimic what you see. Left arm, right arm, laugh, surprise. Okay, I hate this one. This one's pretty damn hard. You have to be really quick on your feet. Alright, let's try it then. Start when you hear the signal. Okay. And action. See, I already messed it up. Alright, I'm gonna keep going through this until I win. Because it's gonna be quite of a grind. Okay, that took way too many tries. The clone will be at Kronos House. Wonderful news. You do need 40 points every time you try to attempt that. I had to fight Gato about, let's see, three times each to get the 40 points, or 45. Uh, probably at least like 12 times. Yeah, that was pretty annoying. So, he said the clone will be at Kronos House. Uh, where's Kronos' mother? Oh, hello. Is Chrono okay? Uh, I. He be in fine health. I hope he's behaving. Tell him to be good, alright? Madam. Yes, dear? By the leave, mayhap we taketh this doll. Go right ahead, dear. Okay, we'll go ahead and take that Chrono doll. That is not Chrono, for anyone confused here. Um... All right, we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we have some more treasure chests to clear up, and then we'll continue on in the story. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.